So, hello everyone! Today we will be reviewing a Gonzu Beta. Of course. Let me first set up the audio. Okay. Now in this, uh, this beta literally launched like few days ago, and it's run by a fan. Um, it's run by fans of the game, literally. It's the uh, apparently Korean version, and it was given to us literally like a raw. So we could test the bugs and help the developers uh, make a list to fix. And like what causes and the, like software collision, crashes. And what to do to fix the issues that might apparently arise. And uh, so far we have identified a lot of the issues and stuff like that. First of all, as you can see, it's the translation. If you... Oh, oh. If you hover like that, on this bar, it shows you buff. That's uh, literally what I discovered just now. However, this is untranslated. And if you don't have Korean font, or if your Korean font is uh, bugged, glitched, or not working, then it shows like this. Of course, the SAT Yeti is uh, just a mercy system for the beta, I believe, because it doesn't induce like stomach cancer like in the original game. So, earlier we had... Uh, untranslated the, the towns, which are so honestly terrible to navigate with because the areas here half of them were inaccessible oh and we have also the old global dungeons in here as well that's pretty cool I wanted to show you some new bug. <laughs> Look at this one, mob power gay <laughs> with all the ping. I think it might be a test mob, something similar to Summer Kraken that might be an event mob, since it's since it looks like a fleshed out thingy. So that's another glitch, like mobs missing their textures. Or being the weirdly translated. The BGM is kind of nice. And I don't know if this is honestly... Wait, this isn't even translated, it's just... Uh, the font is just changed to Romaji. Romaji which is... Uh, the font that Japanese use, like, uh, to move uh, from their font to our font, so we can read it better. Like, uh, we that try to learn Japanese, that's what we call Romaji. Basically, a Roman font with the Japanese words, or Korean words. That's the general meaning of Romaji, I believe. Okay, now, in original game we could double click here, however we can double click here to see what this item is and where it is, so it might be another glitch or a Korean feature, I honestly am not sure about this, however, I identified uh, one new issue with the summoning orbs, if you actually try to summon anything of these uh, Korean font names 
when the game will crash. However, I won't do this for now, literally. I won't do this because I want to show you that there is more stuff to see in this game. <laughs> Bad smell soup. In the global version it was uh, Stinky Soup, which was shorter name. Nyanko Koshun is literally a Japanese naming, because Nyan is uh, onomatopoeia from Japanese towards the cat. And it can only be used after level 100, so like level 68 is still a beginning. And to be fair, I don't know if it's the Korean thingy, but uh, Incheon and Hanyang are literally super, super duper close to each other. Like in global, we. Wait, Hanyang. Hanyang was in global, but. In Global Hanyang was this Gyeong Bokgung Palace. As you can see, the layout is the same like the original Hanyang. And the first village was Ankaran. And this U Gyeongbu isn't uh, correctly translated as well. Sorry if you heard the Discord sound for now, because there is someone writing to me. Game event teleportation passes from the beginning quests, resurrections, and the key vanished? It was supposed to be 90 days, what? Let me turn on LDG. I need to buy it again to show me. Basically there was a 90 day key, let me show you a real quick shot. And I have, I need to find it again because for now it's untranslated. So I'm a bit silent. Oh, this key. This was supposed to be for 90 days. Oh, someone's speaking in Korean. I never knew that this could happen. And it's a, in a premium shop. And as you can see, we just got uh, recently gifted a 1 million zir, which I believe is one or G coin, for us to get and test the items here. So basically, this thing crashes the game. This doesn't work correctly because. Uh, it sometimes disappears and sometimes appears, I'm not sure, but I heard some uh, Korean woman, woman speaking something. Or it might just be them by me that doesn't realize that I clicked something weirdly with the key. However, I'm pretty much sure that these boxes give you the entire drop that is inside them, where in global version you had basically a random box. These are all summon pets. These two. These are summon pet buffs? Or a books, maybe? These are mounts. Mm, not worth to buy them, I believe, because they all are timely beaten mounts, like this is a thousand mile fall, untranslated, this is a zebra, black horse, white horse, reindeer, a tigre, wolfy, vixen, camel, I believe, uh, Looking by the art, I don't remember these two, and no idea what this is. Oh, this I know it's a 500 horse feed, 
Let's buy this and see what this is actually. Animal ability improvement ticket. Jesus Christ, you literally need to have big knowledge to operate the item more. These I believe are all codes. And this is also one of the boxes that give you a full set, let me show you. Let, I'll buy this hot thingy. LTG to refresh. And you get Bag of Eternity, the key to space. Mysterious Horsey Unisus. Unisusi. And expansion voucher for warehouse. That is currently not working. That's how early the Spectre is, to the point you could call it an Alpha. I think this, uh, the key to space might work fine. Right now, I was just dummy and was thinking that I was on person tab while I was on key tab. Hmm. There are several more translation glitches here and there. But I want to show you the glitch that was in the global version. A white sword. Null, null in the description of the magic. Basic magic attack. Ooh. Sword level 30 needed. Huh. Huh. It says the required skill Kane level 30. Let me switch to Kane with Cab real quick. Control 2. It is a weapon that cannot be used for magic. Ah, I need to unspirit myself LT, LTG. Not LTG, LTY. And Advent of Hero is basically a spirit in. Oh, Advent of Heroes effect is translated. That's cool. We can read this now. Range 6. That beat has triple P. Range 5, range 5. It doesn't really give a lot of benefits. Oh, until I saw this one. Evasion damage reduction. Up to 5 monsters attack. Increases the range up to 2 when learning range increase skill. Exclusive skill invisibility alt plus 1. Oh, that's new. Does not attack monsters. What? Ah, you can't attack monsters while invisible. Duration 30 seconds, cooldown 5 minutes. So these ninjas are good. Candy King Spirit that we had in Global. Evasion Rate Attack Power. Oh boy. It removes glitch targets current HP. Yeah, the numbers are glitched currently. The raw stats of most things. Probability of multiple strikes. Magic Power 6. Gets critical attack decrease. That's a lot. King Raccoon. <laughs> I'll start plus 100. That's good. That one is really, really good. Attacks up to 4 enemies, 80% of attack power. 
probability of multiple hits. I think this is uh, something like a poison. Since it was just translated, I'm literally reviewing these spirits with you. And which ones I think are good. Movement speed reduction resistance, okay. And using melee weapons, attack power increased by one fifth. Additional effect when HP is below 50. That's a lot of effects, below 50% HP. Can now attack up to 4 targets within 2 blocks. That's AoE for the melas. Oh, that's the buffed version of the earlier spirit. Applies additional damage equal to 0.5% of target monster current physical strength, which is HP, I don't know. As well as holy spirits and bosses. Increase one fifth. Applies glitch damage to non attacked enemies. What? Do not, not attack the enemies? Ah, it's a really bomb attack, Pazikata. Absorption. Uh -huh. Ah, it's the lifesteal, okay. Dorpreet every 10 scraps, one use. Oh boy, <laughs> I want to see to eat seafood, okay. I don't really understand much of it, but I'm just roughly guessing which thing might be good from the transformation thing is give me a rice cake and it won't eat its speech bubble. Physical magic attack power increased by 10%. Oh, those are the global spirits that we had but couldn't get because they were limited. That's where they come from. Uh, ranged weapon. Stacks reset to zero. Oh boy. Continuously moving corpse. Okay. What? Skill that activates only at night. That's pretty fucking cool. Ah, it's a Jiangxi. This untranslated guy with the Talisman on its head is Jiangxi. Jiangxi is basically referring to the uh, Japanese version of zombie. I saw this Jiangxi in the Toho first time. Female version of Jiangxi, pretty cool. Cute rabbits. Can attack up to 4 targets, can attack up to 3 targets, is basically something similar to area of effect. Oh, interesting. Let me move this to the middle. To be fair, this is my favorite. Range 5, scrap disposal all the time. Uh, it also adds a bomb attack on basic attack. This bomb girl is my favorite so far of the spirits. I would <laughs> want to test her out. If the dev, of course, will watch this video. But for now... <sighs> as you can see... Fireball gets 1 to 1 magic damage power because base magic attack is 0 0. Oh, it's uh, gone.
clear. Oh, every time you clear the music resets or shuts down. Yeah, it shut down. After I cleared the... Uh, transformation hero. Control 1. Control 2. Control 3. Okay, level 1. I'm honestly not sure basic magic attacks see 13 to 16, what? Not see, no, 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 it's minus 13 to minus 16, it's basically negatives once you wear the cane. So I think the glitch with the cane that it deals 1-1, one, one is uh, because the base magic attack is in negatives. However, I'm not dealing 1 but 31 because I have enchantments. Bamboo Jan is basically a bamboo cane. Attack is glitched because it might be on negatives, I don't know. Attribute fire attack, attribute rating 1. And it gives me 30 damage because of the rank 1 attribute, as you can see, the 30 above the 1. And here the red thingy is weight, like I recently gained knowledge of, thanks to one of the mods. Thanks to one and only mod so far. And this 615 out of 1000 is basically how much monsters I can kill on a buffed state. And as you can see, this is the satiety, however you spell it, and digestive system. I'm not punished yet on minus 44 because it's a system for the beta testing. And so far the summons here seem cute, summon pets. Let me show you her. Right click. It doesn't work like in the original game. Ding, ding, ding. Ah, the ding is her uh, getting EXP or what? Ding. Ah, the ding is the drop. Oh, I can control this. That's uh, way different than global. I can control where the summon goes by holding the shift. However, you cannot change the summon destination before it finishes traveling, so that's a demerit. And so far the summon have no skills. Oh shit. I think the game might be patching right now or the server is down. Every time this happens, it literally means that the server is down. So I guess they are working on the game. However, I would totally wish that they would upgrade it. Let me see others. Yeah, they are working. Other clients have crashed to field zero zero. They are either working or the game or the server is down. We can't know honestly because they don't communicate literally anything, which is truly sad. However, they are trying. So that's a good thing that they are trying to fix bugs and help uh, out the community. So since the game, since the server is down, 
I'm gonna finish the episode right now. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope to see you next time on the next videos. If I will reach 100 subs, you will probably see a world record in the next week. So for now, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed.